Hello, Rising Juniors. We will spend a few minutes reviewing the Farmington High School Program of Studies. As a current sophomore, you will have several exciting opportunities and options available to you as you begin to select courses for this upcoming school year. To access the Farmington High School's full Program of Studies, please visit the Program of Studies website. In accordance with Farmington Public Schools' vision of the global citizen, students will choose an intellectually challenging course load throughout high school, which will enable all students to become self-aware individuals, empowered learners, disciplined thinkers, engaged collaborators, and civic-minded contributors, reaching global standards of achievement, leadership, and citizenship upon graduation. As a reminder, in order to graduate from Farmington High School, you'll be required to earn a total of 25 credits. On the screen, you will see a breakdown of these 25 credits. You'll need to earn nine credits in the humanities bucket. Specifically, you'll be required to take four credits of English, which amount to one total credit of English each year, 3.5 credits of social studies, which must include one United States history credit, one half credit of civics, either government and law or AP US government and politics, as well as two more years of social studies one credit of fine arts, new media, music, or theater. And lastly, you'll be required to earn one additional half credit in a humanities elective, which is a course beyond those already required above. You'll also need to earn a total of nine STEM content area credits. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Specifically, you will need to take three credits of mathematics, three credits of science, which includes at least one life science course and at least one physical science course. And lastly, you'll be required to earn three additional STEM elective credits, which are courses beyond those already required above. In the physical education and wellness content area, you'll be required to earn one credit of physical education activity and one credit of health and wellness education. You will also be required to take at least one credit of a world language and pass the Farmington Language Standards Test, or FLST. Although only one credit of a world language is required, Farmington High School strongly recommends at least three credits of a world language. Students who plan to further their education after high school will greatly benefit from three credits of a world language, as many higher education institutions require a minimum of two to three years of a world language. All students will be required to earn one Vision of the Global Citizen Exhibition of Learning credit. Students will have two options for completing this requirement. Students may either enroll in an Aspire or Capstone Honors course. Typically, these courses will be taken during your junior or senior year. Lastly, students will be required to earn three additional elective credits in any department beyond the aforementioned requirements to earn the minimum 25 credits necessary for graduation. Students will also be required to meet several performance standards. These include a literacy, mathematics, and science performance standard. Additionally, remember that students need to demonstrate proficiency in world language by successfully completing the Farmington Language Standards Test, the FLST. There are several ways students can successfully meet these standards. Please see the attached table. As a reminder, students should ensure that they are enrolled in a minimum of six and a half credits each school year. We encourage all students, parents, and guardians to spend some time familiarizing themselves with the Program of Studies, either the PDF version or our Program of Studies website. You can use the Program of Studies to look up courses that you are required to take, electives that you are interested in, and the course descriptions. Next to each course title will be important information, such as, is the course a full year or half year course? Is it an honors, college prep, AP, or ECE course? How many credits can be earned from taking the course? What grade you must be in to take the course? And whether or not there are any prerequisite courses or requirements, such as a course you need to take first. Doing this exploration and research also helps you plan ahead for future course selections. As you begin to select your courses for next year, there are a few important considerations to keep in mind. Course recommendations and core academic areas are provided by your current teachers. Teachers take their time to provide recommendations based upon your classroom performance. 
Should you have questions about your course recommendations, please talk to your teacher. Should you have questions about requesting courses in PowerSchool, please talk to your school counselor. In addition to your core academic courses, you will also have the opportunity to select a few electives this year. Here at Farmington High School, we want to encourage students to choose elective courses that you find both interesting and exciting. When selecting these courses, it is important to consider both your personal and career interests. For example, taking introductory courses here in high school will allow you to explore possible career options as well as provide you with a strong foundation for further education after high school. Teachers are excellent resources for providing suggestions on additional course sequences for your interests and future plans. Additionally, during your individual junior conference, you will review your course selections with your school counselor. We encourage students to enroll in courses that will be challenging while still allowing opportunities for academic success. Student course requests are the first step in building your schedule. Farmington High School prioritizes core academic courses required for graduation before scheduling electives. Please note that your course selection does not guarantee that your first choice elective course will be in your schedule. Here is a traditional 11th grade schedule. You will take one credit of English, either American Studies, American Literature, AP English Language, or AP English Literature. One credit of Math, following the math sequence you are currently enrolled, one credit of science, either biology college prep, biology honors, or AP biology, one credit of United States history, either American studies or AP US history, a half a credit of health education and wellness, and then two to three elective credits, which may or may not include an additional year of world language or the civics requirement of either government and law or AP government and politics. We are very excited to share with you our Farmington High School Program of Studies website. Here you all have access to many resources to use while researching and selecting courses for next year, including this year's Program of Studies, elective course options for juniors, and how-to instructions for selecting courses in PowerSchool. School counselors also conduct Program of Studies lessons in classrooms throughout January, where students will have the opportunity to learn more about this year's Program of Studies, ask questions, and request courses in PowerSchool. So what's next? Please review the Program of Studies, noting the many exciting updates. Please review course recommendations in PowerSchool from your teachers prior to requesting your courses, and contact your teachers with any questions you and your parents might have. You will receive an email when PowerSchool is open to request courses. Shortly after, school counselors will conduct Program of Studies lessons in classrooms with all students. It is important you pay close attention to this email and during this lesson, as PowerSchool is only open for a short period of time and all students must request courses by mid-January. If you have further questions about the Program of Studies, graduation requirements, or the course selection process, please speak with your school counselor. If you have any questions about specific courses or the recommendation you received, please contact your teacher. We are here to help. Thank you and best wishes for a great rest of your school year.